Okay, welcome back. In chapter 3.6, what we will learn is a very important rule in trigonometry. It's called the sine rule. Why is it called the sine rule? Because we will be using the sine function in our formula. Okay, so let us look at any triangle. Okay, let's say a triangle ABC. Okay, and let's see how the sine rule can be applied. So this angle, angle A, okay, uh, let's say I take the, the ratio of side A, okay, small letter A, over the sine of angle A, okay, that will be equivalent to the ratio of the side of B over the sine of angle B, and that will be equivalent to the side C over the sine of angle C. Okay, so if it's not too clear to you, maybe I'll use a different color, okay, to show you what I mean. So as you can see from here, angle A is here, okay, and the side that is opposite angle A is A over here, so A. And let me just use a, a different color. So let's say I use green to indicate angle B. So this is my angle B. And the side that is opposite angle B is small b, okay, and finally for angle C okay so this is my angle C and the side that is at opposite angle C is side C okay so a small a small letter a over sine a sine of angle a is equals to B over sine of angle B which is equals to C small letter C over the sine of angle C okay so let's look at some practical examples or applications of this uh, formula. Okay, in example number one, okay, let's just read the example together. Find the unknown angles and sides of each of the following triangles and give your answers correct to one decimal place. Okay, so first and foremost, let us write out the sine rule. Okay, so B over sine of B will be equals to A over sine of a okay so in this case over here 7.4 is my small letter a because 7.4 is directly opposite angle a okay just take note of this and of course this also can be written as c over sine of angle c okay so c over sine of angle c okay but um, there's no need to work this out for now okay because we are just interested in the first two ratios okay okay why is that so okay let us just uh, fill in uh, the blanks one by one okay so angle B okay sorry side B okay over angle B is 76 degrees so sine of 76 degrees is equals to a which is 7.4 over sine of angle a which is 42 degrees Okay, so to find B, I just multiply sine 76 over to the right hand side of the equation. So you can press this in your calculator. Okay, and if you round it off to one decimal place, you will have 10.7. Um, okay, yeah, ten, just 10.7. Okay, take note that for sides, okay, we always correct to 3SF, okay, whereas for angles, we always correct to one decimal place. Okay, so let's do the same to find, uh, to find C, okay, to find our C over here. So let us first calculate, let us first calculate what is angle C. So angle C will be 180 degrees minus 42 degrees minus 76 degrees and angle C is just 62 degrees. Okay, so let's apply the same idea. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm just going to use this ratio to help me solve. Okay, so I'm still at example 1a, by the way. Okay, so angle, uh, sorry, side A is 7.4, angle A is 42 degrees, side C is what I want, okay, is, is the unknown, and angle C is... 62 degrees so C will just be 
7.4 over sine 42 times sine of 62 degrees. Okay, press this into your calculator, round it off, and you will have 9.8. Okay, so that's for example 1a. Okay, I'll just pause here for a moment, give you some time to take this down. Okay, in the meantime, let us look at example 1b. Okay, so in example 1b, okay, the two unknowns that we've got is theta, okay, and uh, yeah, we're going to make use of, of, uh, of that to find my theta. Okay, so in example 1b, let us first write out the sine rule. So, okay, in angle, in triangle ABC, okay, I've got this as my side A, side B, and side C, okay? So, A over sine A is equals to B over sine B is equals to C over sine C, okay? And A in this case is 7, sine A, okay, angle A is known as theta in this case, okay, and uh, B is 11, sine B is sine of 67 degrees, okay, so I'll just pause here at the, at, uh, for a moment and I'll show you how this equation can be solved, we will just simply cross multiply the equation, so we will have um, 7 times sine 67, give me 7 sine 67, equals to 11 times sine theta, which is 11 sine theta, okay? Okay, let me just carry on over here. Okay, so 11 sine theta, so sine theta will just be 7 sine 67 degrees divided by 11, okay? Just divide this 11 over to the left-hand side. And finally, theta is just sine inverse it's just sine inverse of this whole function here. Okay, press this in your calculator. Make sure that you are in the degree mode. And then you will just get 35.9 degrees as theta to one decimal place. Okay. And finally, we still need to solve for our x over here. Okay, so let me just clear the screen first. Okay, so for x... We are going to apply a you know a similar rule. So a over sine a is equals to c over sine c. Okay, and since x is my c and this is my small a, let me just substitute this into my formula. So a over sine theta, okay. Oh okay, a over sine theta, so the theta is what we found just now. Okay, and C, which is X, okay, over sine of this angle, C over here. So, this angle will just be 180 degrees minus theta minus 67, okay, which is roughly 77.1 degrees. Okay, sine 77.1 degrees. Okay, and x is just 7 over sine 35.9 over sine 77.1 degrees. Okay, multiply this together, you round it off, you, sh you should get, okay, it's not on the screen, let me just uh, write it out for you. So you should get 11.6, okay, for x, to 3, 6, 6. Okay. Let's solve for example one. Let's move on to example number two. Okay, let's read the example together. AB is 15, as shown over here. Angle ABD is 29 degrees over here. CBD is 47. BCD is 80 degrees. First part of the question wants you to find the length of BD, okay, which is this length over here. Okay, so how do we find BD? We will first make use of triangle DAB. Okay, so let me draw it out separately for you. So triangle DAB. Okay, this is a right angle. Okay, and since this is 29, this must be 61. Okay. Okay, and since AB is given to be 15, okay, we want BD. Okay, BD 
um you know over here is this this is what i want so what i'm going to do i'm going to express out my i'm going to use my sine rule so bd over sine of a okay so bd is over here bd over sine of a angle a is 90 degrees is equals to 15 over sine of d okay so 15 over sine of angle d which is 61 degrees okay so to get bd i just multiply sine 90 over and for those of you who are not uh too sure yet sine 90 is actually actually just one okay but you know i'm just gonna write this here press this in your calculator and you will just get bd to be 17.2 centimeters the three sig fig okay Next part of the example, the length of CD over here, CD. Okay, remember early on we found BD, so I'm just going to indicate BD over here on the diagram. So once again, in part B, we will write out the sine rule. So CD over sine of 47 degrees, this angle is directly opposite CD. Okay, so CD over sine 47 degrees is equals to 17.2 which happens to be your BD okay over sine of 80 degrees okay so CD will just be 17.2 over sine 80 multiplied by sine 47 okay press this in your calculator and you'll just get 12.7 centimeters to 3 sig fig Hope this example have uh, helped you better understand the sine rule. Okay, in the next example, we will talk about the cosine rule. Okay, but before that, just to summarize, for any triangle ABC, we will first identify which are the opposite uh, angles. So let me just indicate it for you, just in case you're still not sure. So if this is angle A, the side opposite angle A will be here, over here. Okay, and if... Uh, this is angle B, then the side opposite angle B will be indicated as small b. And finally, if this is angle C, then the side opposite angle C will just be known as small c. Okay, so using these three opposite sides, we will write out the ratio. Okay, so A over sine A, A over sine A will be equal to B over sine B which is equal to c over sine c, okay, and this is my sine rule. Take note that this rule is often op applied to non-right-angled triangles, okay? I'll see you in the next part of this chapter.